story for this outfit, for this particular number, starts at the tip shop. I went for a stroll through the aisles of the tip shop and uh, I noticed they had an abundance of this, this uh, barrier fencing which is used for industrial work sites and uh, uh, these uh, washcloths, uh, commercially known as chucks, but these ones came in rolls and they had plenty of these rolls lying around and I noticed, I looked at them and thought, that, what a waste, what a waste. Um, I mean some company has obviously used some of this stuff once, rolled it up, couldn't be bothered storing it, recycling or reusing it, they threw it out. Same with these, maybe someone bought too many or there was an over order of them, they just throw them out. As you can see I've gone with the trench coat design. All in all, the suit cost about $8 from the tip shop. I do have the receipt for it, but uh, Steve went through my wallet and <laughs> stole it. As for the design process, uh, we started with just a large sheet of the barrier tape, the barrier fencing here. We weren't too sure what, what was going to happen with it and where we were going to begin, what precisely we wanted to build. So we just started playing around uh, to see you know, the parameters of this particular material when it comes to making clothes. Uh, so we draped it over myself, started cutting a few holes. So we decided probably one of the better ways to, to uh, hold it together was with the use of chucks. We didn't want to bring in a, you know, too many other materials. We wanted to keep it simple. So again, we used these chucks here to hold it together. And straight away that worked all right. Uh, we then, we then uh, tried it on again and, and thought it's, it's not overly protective. It, it looks good, it's got good shape, but it's not overly, overly protective. Uh, so we thought, well, let's uh, expand on the use of chucks to uh, fill it out a bit more. And the final, the final product the final product will have a few more chucks on it uh, to, give, to give it more wind, wind uh, resistance, uh, warmth, um, and indeed sun sun shelter. Uh, we, had, we had a few issues with the sleeves. Uh, they did restrict my range of movement initially uh, just because of the way that we had fixed the different parts of the, the barrier tape together. Um, I've reviewed this and uh, discovered that we'd actually layered these two, the two sides, on, on both sides, the wrong way around and it made the sleeves want to point back. Um, just reverse that process and the sleeves will point forward and we have it as you see it now. We decided that it looked like a power suit. A power suit, uh, if you've seen The Matrix, you've seen Morpheus and the power suits he likes to strut around in. Well, that reminded us of that. So we've got the power suit, we've used chucks, put the two together, we've got a power chuck. A power chuck suit. It's quite, it's quite flexible, it's very durable, it's tough. This stuff needs to be tough because it's used industrially. Chucks are tough, especially the way they're woven in and out and layered in the suit. Um, all around good, as, as it is at the moment. A wind test, it would probably wouldn't keep you very warm, but once filled out with a few more chucks, I think that won't be a problem. Waterproof? No, I don't think it would be waterproof. It, to some extent, it would it would soak up some of the water be before it got to you. Uh, but as with most clothes, it, it's not going to keep you dry. When I started with the design of this, I thought I would use some either recycled plastic bag or paper. Thankfully that day when I was thinking about it, I received an IKEA catalogue in the mail. So I thought, hmm, okay, well usually most people would throw these in the bin straight after looking at them. So I decided to make a dress out of it. So I took every single page out of it and fanned each piece and then um, stuck them to the dress with either staple or glue. But I found when I was wearing it that bits of paper were falling off. And not only that, like every time I tried to move, I could feel like bits and pieces ripping. And also when I was putting it together, a couple of bits got torn. So I don't think it would last very long. Out of that, this probably wasn't the best material for my uh, dress. I decided to go and find something a little bit more durable. So I had to go back to the design phase and then start the process again. I went to the Brisbane Boat Show um, a couple of weeks ago and as everyone was entering they were giving away these free bags and everyone on the way out was either just dumping them near the rubbish bins and they were lying on the ground so I decided that they would make a great outfit and I noticed that they also have um, stretch in them which gives them a lot of movement and makes it a bit more flexible and they are a very durable fabric but I also think that in years to come when every shop is giving out Enviro bags they will be the new plastic bag rubbish that will end up at the tip. Side seams were already seamed so I just had to like sew them together and I cut the front bits out and cut them in half and made them into little fans. This part here is actually the top of uh, your little quick containers, it's the lid of that. 
And on the back I have buttons that are made out of uh, soft drink cans, the little bits that flick off where you open it from. They were fantastic material. I didn't have to change the design too much because I finally found something that was very durable and very flexible. Although, I mean, anything can be improved. To make this outfit again, I would possibly use um, a darker colour as the white can tend to be a little bit more see-through. Now, enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Oh, never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of your youth until they fade it. But trust me, in 20 years, you'll look back at photos of yourself and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You are not as fat as you imagine. Don't worry about the future, or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind, the kind that blindsides you at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. Do one thing every day that scares you. Sing. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead. Sometimes you're behind. The race is long. In the end, tell me what you Remember compliments you receive. Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old love letters. Throw away your old bank statements. Stretch. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. Get plenty of calcium. Be kind to your knees. You'll miss them later. Maybe you'll marry. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40. Maybe you'll dance the funky chicken on your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance. So are everybody else's. Enjoy your body. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Dance. Even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. Brother and sister, together we'll make...